So in this video, we're going to be going through our second sample means hypothesis test example. So we have a machine is designed to make paper clips with a mean mass of 4 grams and a standard deviation of 0.08 grams. The distribution of the masses of the paper clips is normal. A quality control officer selects a random sample of paper clips and weighs each one. The results are here. So we have 10 uh, paper clips sampled. Conduct a hypothesis test at the 10% significance level to determine whether there is evidence to suggest an increase in the population mean mass of paper clips. So let's start off with let mu be the population mean mass of the paper clips. And we have our null hypothesis, which would say that the mean mass is 4 grams, so mu is 4. And the alternative, well, there's, we're looking to see if there's an increase in the population mean. So we're looking to see whether it's greater than 4 this time. So we will assume H0 is true and set up a normal distribution for the sample means which has a mean of 4 and a variance that will be 0.08 squared divided by the sample size which is 10. Now in this video I'm going to be using the p-value method so I'm going to be looking at the probability of x bar being greater than, so this inequality matches that one. Now I need to know what the sample mean is, so I need to actually work out the mean of those 10 numbers. So let's do that. So for, actually I'm going to do this using the statistics feature I think on the calculator. So 4.01 4.05, 4.06, 4.05, also make sure that I don't miss any numbers out. 3.98, 3.96, 4.07, 4.08, and 4.08. So uh, we have a mean of 4.038. Okay. So I'm now going to go to the distribution section on my calculator, uh, normal CD. My lower value is 4.038. My upper value is a very large number. Sigma is the square root of this. So 0.08 divided by the square root of 10. So we should get 0.0252 on the calculator, and the mean is 4. OK, so we're getting 0.0665, etc. Now that needs to be compared to the significance level, which is 10%, and that's clearly less than the significance level. So. Now I'm going to leave a space because I know I'm going to need to use that later uh, for the other methods. So the result is significant. So we reject H0. There is evidence. Or let's say there is sufficient evidence rather. There is sufficient evidence to suggest that the population mean mass of paper clips has increased was increased past four grams okay so 
there is my hypothesis test. Um, so we start off with let mu be the population mean in context, null and alternative hypotheses written out, set up the uh, normal distribution for the sample means, find my probability, compare it against the significance level, conclude that we reject, and then a written conclusion that is non-committal in context.